Normans built the first proper castles after the invasion of 1066. They needed bases from where they could patrol the countryside and strongholds to protect themselves from Saxon attack. These strongholds were also their homes. The castles had to be built in a hurry, so they were made of timber and placed on top of an earth mound called a mot, with a courtyard below known as a bailey. Two years after the Battle of Hastings, William the Conqueror built a mot and bailey castle here at Warwick. That's all that remains of that early castle, the mot. The Bayeux tapestry shows us the big disadvantage of those early castles. Attackers could easily set fire to the wooden palisades and buildings. So the castle builders began to use stone instead. The first thing was to build a stone wall around the bailey in place of the wooden palisades, and then to build another stone wall on top of the mot. This was called a shell keep. But the earth on top of the mot often couldn't take the weight of a strong tower. So they built a keep in the bailey instead. And for added safety, the entrance to this was at first floor level up a flight of steps. It wasn't very comfortable living in the keep. So eventually the lords moved out into proper houses in the bailey. This meant that they weren't so well protected. So the walls had to be strengthened even more. Of course, the weakest part of any castle was the entrance. You needed a really strong gatehouse and even an outer gate or barbican. Edward I added an extra ring of walls around his castles, always lower in height than the inner walls. Round the whole thing, there was often a moat. Of course, many castles couldn't have a water-filled moat because they were too high up like at Warwick, where the River Avon was too far below the castle to fill the moat. So another solution had to be found. This dry moat, or rather this ditch, isn't nearly as deep as it used to be. But then it must have been a major obstacle for any would-be attacker. And rightly so, 